What's up, YouTube? It's Adam Grover from Grover Boys Racing. And uh, last night we took NTG Blazer out testing once again. Get a little bit more seat time in it and see how it works. Added about another 100 horsepower or so worth of nitrous to it. Hoping that it would make it faster. So uh, check out that footage and we'll get to our conclusion. So you saw the passes, made a motor pass, uh, three nitrous passes, uh, one of those was with like 11 degrees of timing in it. We tried a little bit more timing and uh, didn't really make that big of a difference. Really, it hit a little harder out of the hole, but not worth bragging about. Uh, so... Also got a little bit of fade up top, bottle surging in and out. Not sure if the bottle's low or if the feed line's not big enough because it has a 4AN nitrous feed line in it. <clears throat> so might need a bigger line, but regardless, it still should have went faster than what it did on, say, 150 shot. And it did not. It actually slowed down about two tenths. It's best pass on the 250. And it's best pass on a 150. So there's a two tenth gap, and the 150 was the fastest pass. But I'm getting used to the truck a little bit more. Um, the first time I ever sprayed it in first gear, it kind of went a little all over the place. Wasn't really expecting it to twist all up and everything. And I still was able to drive through it, but now being prepared for that. I, I can keep it straighter, as you can see. Um, it's still, it's 60 foot and the same as the 150 shot, and I just shouldn't be. In the 60 foot, it should at least 60 foot better, and it actually felt stronger on the 150 shot. So I'm going to explain why it slowed down. So for starters, the camshaft that's in this blazer, from what I've been told, is a circle track camshaft. Which tells me one of two things. It shouldn't like nitrous. That's the main thing. And that it's going to have RPM. So that being said. Um, it really shouldn't gain a whole lot on the bottle. 
I, I was hoping that it would, but I got my hopes up, I guess. So, as you can see, I have a spark plug up here. We're going to get to that in a minute. I want to write a couple things down to show you guys what I'm talking about with different timings and what it gained, what it didn't gain, things like that. So, I'm going to zoom out. That way you can see the whole board. And hopefully you guys can follow along with me with this. So, I had a 150 shot of nitrous that I put on the blazer when I bought the blazer. Pretty much like maybe a week after owning it, the nitrous kit went on it. Uh, it had a spacer plate on it, one inch spacer that I took off um, and I put the nitrous plate and stuff on it. And then uh, I automatically pulled 10 degrees of timing out of it. So I was at 36 degrees of timing on motor and I pulled 10 out to be safe. So that put me at 26 degrees on nitrous. So that was for 150 shot. So I was on 26 degrees of total timing on nitrous on 150 shot of nitrous. So on motor, the truck went a certain time. I don't really want to talk times because I, I do want to get some races with the truck. I do want to grudge race it a little bit and people will hear times and get scared or think they got a GW and are guaranteed win. Um, and I'm just, I rather not have any of the times posted out there right now. Um, I do have draggy passes of this thing on the street. That's how I know what it's doing, when it's doing it, how it's doing it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the draggies are pretty accurate. They're within probably a couple hundreds of a second. So uh, they're good to go off of. We use them on a lot of cars. We tried them at the track, and they're they're good. They're le they're legit. They're worth the two hundred dollars. So on motor with this timing, the truck ran a base time. And when I sprayed it, it picked up about two seconds on a 150 shot. So I went two seconds faster. On 150 shot. Kind of hard to see that. So I have very sloppy handwriting, so just bear with me. With 26 degrees of timing in it. From motor to spray, it picked up two seconds, which is great. That's wonderful. That's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> That's a really good gain. That's over 150 horsepower that you're actually theoretically gaining. I made a mistake by just throwing this tune up in it. And when I threw this tune up in it, I knew it'd be safe. I knew it'd be conservative, and it actually ended up being where I like my tune ups. Where after I tested it being safe and everything, I go, all right, let's turn this thing up. So here we have a spark plug. I'm kind of jumping around here, but hopefully I can bring this all together and where it makes sense. This is how you tune nitrous and timing and all that. You want to read a plug. So you want to have whatever cylinder is usually your leanest, which is usually your front corner cylinder. Sometimes it's the backs. It depends on the engine and stuff. But usually it's the fronts because, you know, when the car weight transfers back, fuel tends to run where it, you know, the incline it's on. 
So that's really technical. The motor pulses and it pulls the air and fuel where it kind of wants to, but it's hard to pull something when it's going in this direction and you have something up here that's pulsing to try to grab that. So I just made a mess. So I pulled a spark plug out and I read where my timing was. My timing at 26 degrees was right about here on my spark plug. Some people are going to watch this and be like, man, that's really hot. I like it. I like it where that timing's actually right here on the plug. So I probably could have put like 28 in it. That's like ragged edge. Like you can melt this strap down or pop a head gasket. It's, it's pretty ragged and it's, it's rough. It's harder on the motor that way. And really it's probably not much horsepower I would gain. Uh, on this it it might have made a decent difference but i'll get to that in a minute but uh it for other people out there that are going to do this and take this video don't listen to what i'm saying for your setup every setup is different and i'm going to conclude to that in the end of this um by 26 degrees of timing here and my heat on my plug was from beginning wrapped around the plug to about that point and i left it i was like all right tune-up's pretty good <clears throat> i could probably throw another two degrees in it it put my timing down and you know all the way to the bottom of the strap here and i'd be that'd be good i'd be happy camper but i left it because it was safer that way and the truck was running good and i was at the no prep race when i was doing all this and i had zero test time on the truck so then we took the truck testing. I ran it with this. That's how I got these numbers here. Two second gain. And uh, the truck on motor was dog slow. I was not happy with it. But on spray, I was like, all right, it's decent. I can deal with that. Last night, I made a motor hit. I put it back to 36 degrees of timing. And the truck ran a second faster than this on motor so motor to motor write this down motor motor we have 26 degrees 36 degrees that's a 10 degree gap in timing right here all right and we got one second that's how much faster we went it was one second faster okay now this thing on motor might like more timing it definitely won't like less i can tell you that right now because even on spray it kind of reacts to the timing like i said nothing to really brag about but it does react to it and it, it is more responsive with the timing and everything in it but uh we added another 100 horsepower worth of nitrous to this and i was hoping that it would go faster maybe not a full second maybe like half a second because when you start going faster the way the air pushes you know when you start adding more nitrous the way the nitrous flows through the engine unless it's really set up for nitrous it won't really eat it up and i kind of assume that this motor wouldn't but we pulled another from 26 we pulled another 15 out and that put us at 11 11 degrees total timing on a 250 shot okay I didn't even run it on motor with 11 degrees of timing. It would barely spin the tires. It wasn't even worth wasting the fuel, the motor. It just wasn't even worth it. So I sprayed it, and it went two-tenths slower than the 150 shot. So let's see how I could do this. 250, 150 uh two tenths slower all right put a little decimal point there 
two tenths slower with another 100 horsepower added into this thing. I didn't check my strap on the plug, which I should have, but I didn't because I just, I know roughly about how much timing needs to come out of it with the compression of the motor and stuff. It's, it's pump gas, but it does have a little bit of compression in it. So we added another three degrees of timing. It was still, it went a little bit faster, not much. I mean, I'm talking hundreds here. Like it could have been because it bit the tire a little bit better on the street. Um, I think it did pick up in the 60 foot, like point two in the 60 with the three degrees of timing added into it so that put me at a total of 14 degrees but we were still here like we're talking hundreds when i'm i'm saying like it went faster like it wasn't much so it tells me that it's not even going to really pick up by putting timing more and more timing in it because if I was already hot at 26 degrees, I added another 100. I'm not going to be able to still run 26 degrees of timing. That's going to... I, I'm very limited here. I can either throw 2 degrees of timing in this from where I was on the 150 shot. I could throw 2 degrees of timing in this, make it 28, and, you know, bring the heat down the, the strap. Or I could add maybe, like... 25 horsepower more and bring the heat down i mean and it's it's not worth it to possibly hurt the motor so this number here i know is pretty close the the amount of timing i might be able to get away with throwing in it i'm not even worried about it at this point because i i went slower regardless and i shouldn't have went slower I'm talking 100 horsepower so after seeing this here motor to motor the one second difference and going off the cam that has a circle track cam in it it's not using the nitrous in conclusion it's not using it it don't like it you need too much timing out for it to be safe and at that has to do with the cam. It has to do with when the valves are opening and closing and all that. All the cam specs, like this is where your center line and lobe separation, all that plays a factor. And that's where we're at. Uh, it might possibly be blowing through the converter because the converter is also set up pretty much for motor. The rings in the truck, I was told, were gapped for spray. I was told that I could put a 300 shot on it. That's what one of the previous owners of the truck was going to do with it. But uh, with this camshaft in it, it's not having it. So I have to change the cam if I want to spray it. What I'm going to do... I'm sorry, I have to change the cam if I want to spray it with this. If I want to spray it with this, I can still get away with this. And I mean, it's still faster on the 150 than it is on motor with 36 degrees of timing. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop this down to like a 100 shot. Maybe a 125 and try to add timing. Try to leave the timing where it's at 36 degrees and put a 100 shot through it. Excuse me. <clears throat> if I can leave my timing at 36 degrees, spray it with a 100 shot, my timing mark will hopefully still stay right here where it was at at 26. And it should pick up a second, which is from motor here to nitrous here. That's about the difference it has, is a, a second. From the 26 degrees on a 150 to 36 on motor, I'm picking up one second. So, I'm picking up about 100 horsepower out of a 150 shot, theoretically. If you want to go off of 
that. Um, so hopefully with the hundred shot in it, you know, it does what I want it to do. I got some playing around with jetting to do. I mean, I might be able to put a 125 in it, uh, set the timing up pretty good, and maybe add fuel to try to cushion it, to try to cool the cylinder back down. But, I mean, I really don't want it pig rich because that's also going to kill power. Uh, you got to find that happy medium with doing this. You got to kind of play with it and see what the motor likes and what it don't like, and that's where we're at. So, hopefully you guys learned a little something. Uh, let me know if you want me to make an actual tech video on this. And maybe get into more detail. I tried to be pretty detailed on this one. Um, there's a lot of factors that play into this, though, more than what I'm getting at. I mean, it'd be better for you guys if I talk numbers with compression and times and everything else it'd be more understanding but uh that's that's pretty much what we got here going on with the blazer so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully it helped you guys out and gave you some insight on nitrous tuning and you know things like that and uh got some future plans for the blazer Little throttle body action, took all apart, cleaned it up, painted it. Intake's probably not going on, but yeah, got got some plans, so some future content coming. So uh stay tuned and see what we got going on. It's kind of punny, stay tuned. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Enjoy your day, night, whatever it is.